Are you an artful thinker? You might be an artful thinker and you don't even know it. I'm an artful thinker in training. My husband Andy and I love art and we have a collection that we've accumulated over the years. I'm going to share some of that with you later. I'm a business person and I frequently get asked, what does art have to do with business? Well, art has everything to do with business. One of the most valued skills in business is creativity. And with the changing dynamics of business and the challenges facing business today, the ability to have creativity is one of the most desired uh, skills of an employee. Also, as a community, the skills of creative thinking and uh, critical thinking are really important to building our community. And the arts, when I'm talking about artful thinking, I'm not speaking specifically to learning to be an artist. It's learning to think like an artist, to be creative. I'm not an artist. I couldn't draw anything. Um, so I'm going to share a story. The Medici effect, the Medici effect, family was a 15th century family in Florence. Some of you may have heard of them. And uh, they, through their efforts of crossed and intersecting different disciplines uh, of experts, artists, scientists, things like that, uh, launched the Renaissance. So I've come up with my own diagram of artful thinking as it applies to my world as a community volunteer, a business person, and a lover of the arts. So I look at that sweet spot as, as artful thinking, that point of creativity and adding value to the community that I live in. Art is also inclusive. Recently I did a survey, a, a small survey, not a scientific survey, of uh, people and found that only 10% of people had visited a, a museum, a gallery, or attended a live performance over the previous nine months. That was really sad. However, that's not uncommon. This is actually referred to as the glass wall that exists between artists and uh, other people who aren't artists, who are afraid of art. So I'm going to tell you a story, uh, and we're going to start to break that, gl that glass wall. All art has a story. So when you look at a piece of art, remember that art has the artist who creates the the piece, the time and the place that the art was created, and I'm going to tell you a story about art here in Colorado Springs that you may not be aware of. We actually have a real rich history from 1871 when General Palmer established Colorado Springs. Quickly after that, we became an art colony. And in 1890, this is one of those early artists, uh, Leslie Scouton came to Colorado Springs and started painting. And one of the things that he did, you can see his art today in our community at Grace Episcopal Church. He designed and executed a stained glass window there. Mr. and Mrs. Penrose uh, established after World War I the Broadmoor Art Academy, which later became the Fine Arts Center. I'm sure you're aware of that. Boardman Robinson had a major role to play in that transition, and I don't have enough time to tell you how great he was. The New Deal. So after World War I, uh, these are two pieces of art that exist in our community. At the top is Tabor Utley. It's a, a uh, mural that's in the city auditorium, and below is uh, a mural that's in the Manitou Springs uh, post office. We move ahead. Uh, Ethel Megathan and her sister, twin sister Jenny, were female artists, and uh, they were not traditional ladies of the time. They said, we want to be in the studio, not in the home, so they were artists. And uh, Ed Chavez is also of their, their time. He was married to Jenny, and he was an artist. This is an example of his work. He was a very accomplished muralist and one of my favorite artists. Moving on to contemporary art, Sushi <laughs> Felix, yes, I'm glad some of you know her. This is early examples of her work where she was working in pastel. These are actually on cardboard in their uh, pictures of Garden of the Gods. Her husband Tracy is also an artist. And you see here we're at Pikes Peak. We started with Pikes Peak, we're going to end with Pikes Peak. But he describes his art, at art as a cartoonish. He intentionally does that to make it unique and different to him. It's contemporary and he still focuses on landscapes. In our community, these are just a few examples of art galleries and museums that we have. There at the top is the uh, Fine Arts Center here at UCCS. We have the gallery, and then the Tracy Miller Gallery in Manitou Springs. I want to tell you, if you ever visit a gallery, they love to talk about art. You walk in, people are afraid uh, to talk to, to uh, gallery owners. They love to talk about art. And then here are some opportunities for you for live performances that are coming up real quick here in our community. And here I want to tell you, put on your artful thinking cap, get out there, break through that glass wall, go to a live event, visit a museum, and get your daily recommended dose of art. <laughs>